How's it going up everybody? Nick with Hobby Extreme. Wanted to apologize on why it's taking me so long to get the GL8 Part 2 version out. So I recently got hired by Cape Air. Uh, this is my first real airline job. And so I've been out here at Hyannis uh, getting trained up with them. Uh, got to go through their uh, whole ground stuff, which is about two weeks. Uh, did my couple tests with them, and then they are also sending me out to ATP, which was really cool. So doing my uh, ATP certification, if any of you don't know what that means, it's the uh, airline transport pilot uh, rating. So it's the, uh, the last license that I need to be a certified airline pilot. Uh, so they actually sent me out to... Uh, Texas and DFW uh, to actually go through Southwest to actually do the ATP ride, uh, which actually was a lot of fun. That was about a week long. Got to go through a lot of their really fancy uh, sims. Not the airplane I'll be flying uh, with Cape Air, but it's a part of the rating that you have to go through one of these uh, big certified sims and go through some of their training to be able to uh, get the rating itself. So we were actually doing the rating in a 737 so that was a lot of fun uh i'm actually think i'm a boeing guy now because that was really freaking cool um and we're also past that so after the end of that i i uh took my atp written which i passed so i was very relieved of that um, if any of you have ever taken a faa written exam you know how sucky they are and how stupid um, and I was able to get a 96 on it. So I was very, very proud of myself for that. I think that's the best, best grade I've ever gotten on a written. Uh, so now after that, uh, I have my written complete. I'm actually back here in Hyannis for another probably couple weeks to, uh, actually take the, uh, ATP ride and also my check ride to be a captain, uh, here at Cape Air. And then I got a couple more weeks of OE or operational experience uh, that I need to do with uh, Cape Air, and then I'll be finished. So, yeah, thank you so much for uh, sticking with us. Um, I know it's been taking a, a while to go through uh, for me to get this out for you, but hopefully you guys understand for what I've been been going through. Uh, it's been a lot of training. It's been a lot of work, uh, and I'm trying to sneak in um, doing some videos for you guys uh, while I'm, I have, like, a day where I'm not really doing anything, uh, waiting for some, for some planes to be available. So, well, uh, with, with that, uh, thank you so much and enjoy the video. A crap ton of stuff, but yeah, we're gonna just keep learning, making a bunch of mistakes. This is your dad speaking. All right. That was awesome. Rock. Um, hey, tell me. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, on day three of GLA, also part two of our trip. And Brian was actually just at the flight line. He saw that we have a bunch of all the giveaways that they're doing. They're giving away, just like last year, a crap ton of stuff. So we'll get to show you that. Uh, we also have a couple more, uh, a lot more people that have been showing up today. So it should be a little bit more busy on the flight line. Hopefully we get to see some cool flying. And... Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Cool. Let's do day three. Nick, what happened? So I'm constantly having the battle of Monaco coming off. And I think it's mostly me not knowing how to take care of an airplane like this. Um, this is the second year I've owned an airplane that had like a quality and a Monaco like this. I also think that we're storing them badly. 
Uh, you guys have seen our RC trailer, and actually when I'm at home, I don't have a lot of space in my garage, so I actually keep the planes in my trailer. Yeah. Which is now looking like it's a lot worse than I expected. Right. So we definitely, uh, we're going to make changes from now on. We're going to actually take the planes always out of the trailer. We're going to try to put, I don't have any way to air condition my garage, which would be the most ideal thing. Um, but we're going to try to like maybe put a dehumidifier in the garage and maybe try that. Uh, because I'm having a lot of these peel ups like this guy right here, that's peeling up. My gear right there is peeling up really bad. And it, that always comes off. And my last flight yesterday I had, I just fixed it, but this whole piece right here blew off. And I've only ran smoke in this airplane one time. Yeah, just once. One time. So I don't think it's that mostly. I think it's probably just not taking care of it. I need to iron them more. I need to take more care of them. Yeah. And we need to probably store them better. We got to we gotta pay attention to the edges of the Monaco. Yeah. Because when you're putting this many flights, this thing has 150 plus flights on it. Right. It's always stressing, right? And, I, and I'm not doing a good job of taking care of it. Yeah. Got to do more maintenance. More maintenance than I thought that I needed to. Right. Um, and staying on top of the ironing and stuff like that. Because it's starting to get really annoying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like the edges of this blue is coming up already. Yep. So I'm going to try to clean that and put that down. I'm going to try to actually put an iron on the whole plane um, and just try to take care of it. Yeah. I want this plane to last a very long time. Yeah. Um, but it's, when we get the new plane, it's going to be a great backup plane. Yeah, absolutely. And practice plane. So. And then hopefully my new plane, I now have learned a lot on the maintenance because like I've learned a lot from building these and now I can build them very confidently. Right. Um, but it now it's like the experience of learning to maintain them. Right. Um, we've only been doing these for two years now, so we didn't realize how to maintain them, what's the proper way to do it. Right. Um, and how much you have to stay on top of it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna just keep learning, making a bunch of mistakes. Cool. <laughs> All right, I'll let you get back to work. Cool, cool. All right, that was awesome. Rock. Oh. Hey, tell us about the plane. So it's a Car Viper. It's got a King Tech 160 G2. It's a Spectrum gear, Electron retracts, and yep. a blast to fly. Now, how is this uh, new to you? No, uh, no, not new to me. I've had this two years now. Okay. Um, I actually purchased it used from yep. a well-known owner and builder, and uh, you know, sold it without the turbine. I went, did a little shopping, and. That's it. I, I can't take credit for the build. So. And those G2s, they work great, don't they? It's phenomenal. Yeah. No trouble whatsoever. Spools up just fine. I mean, this is short runway, got in, got down, got out, no problem. Yep. How is the short uh, slow flight characteristics? Love it. Absolutely yeah. love it. Yeah, it slows right down to a crawl, to a now, walking pace. Is it vector thrust or no? No vector thrust. Okay. Nope, just old school, straight thrust. Love it, old Absolutely. school. Absolutely. That's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks. We enjoyed watching it. You got it, guys. Take care. Wide, cut, I'm right over the numbers. There you go, now I gotta push it up a little for you. Yeah, you got that 102 in there. Yeah. Yeah, she scoops. Stay with him all over the Thirty seconds. Landing. Yeah, Jack. Thirty seconds. Oh, that was. Oh. 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 Oh.
stayed on the pavement this time. Because <laughs> you weren't thinking about it. Yep. That was fun. That was awesome, Mike. Thanks, buddy. All right. All right, guys. Well, today is actually the completely next day. Uh, we got completely rained out most of yesterday, so we just packed everything up, left it, and just kind of slept in, had a good good night. But now it's about 11-ish, and rain is finally gone. People are now starting to fly. So we're about to uh, pull the planes back out, build them, and also check out these little things. Built these little wings that we got for dirt sheet. We put a uh, Rex 10, one of the gyros in this one. Uh, Dad's going to fly this one. Then I just found a basic spectrum uh, that we're going to fly with this one. I flew uh, flew this one the other day and with the gyro, these things are freaking fun. Uh, I'm also going to put lights all over them. Uh, hopefully we can bring these back out to events and fly them at night. I think these will be a blast. But yeah, battery's charging for that one. And then me and Dad are going to go try to fly them together. Yeah, that's true. Why is it doing that now? I tried a really light battery. I wonder if it's too light. It's probably tail heavy now. Yeah, I think I got the throws just right. When I first set it up, guys oh there you go Gary man I missed that one didn't I well he did who else scraped it Ryan me yes you did right yes you did what that about you Nick when I hit it I don't got enough airplanes to scrape damn straight you don't <laughs> I got one for him no you don't about no you don't oh I do no you don't no scraping wing tips. This is your dad speaking. <laughs> but where is, where is the excitement in that? Well, that's the whole point. <laughs> dad wants zero excitement, just straight to the point. I just want zero cost. Right. That's all I care about. We're way into that. Yeah, zero zero more cost. Watch your gut, so bad. Got it. Hey Scott, talk to us a little bit about this raffle, man. Holy crud! Yeah, and it's uh, all the all the vendors really always come up big for the Great Lakes event. Obviously, it's a really large event, so uh, really excited to help. The Turnkey Airplane is, uh, you know, provided by AJ Aircraft. Obviously, Futaba gave an 18 SC radio with all Futaba components in it, A703 wow. servos. I mean, they just came through big time. GP engines gave a GP123 for the turnkey airplane and the raffle, or and a uh, engine for the raffle. Yeah, the 76, um, right? Yep, GP76. Wow. Um, I mean, we got Skywing airplane, air, um, two AJ aircraft airplanes, two extreme flight airplanes. Uh, Flex Innovations came through big with their new 60 inch Ventique and um, and a um, and the, their uh, cap. Yeah, their cap. Uh, 
And now, they saw sponsored, right? I mean, this is they're sponsoring your event. Yeah, the, they're all these companies that are sponsoring the event. High Tech, obviously, has always been a huge part of the event. High Tech gives tons and tons of stuff every year since the very beginning. Um, we got... Uh, I'm gonna try. I know I'm gonna forget somebody. Hey, that's okay. Look, it's a it's an awesome raffle, and you know this event. We've only been here twice, and it seems to be even bigger this year. Can you confirm that this is probably one of the biggest events you guys had here at Great Lakes? Yeah, this is um, definitely one of the bigger ones. Uh, do you mean raffle wise or just the event? No, I'm talking about the event in general. Yeah, it's the just event in general. Yeah, tons of great stuff going on. People. Yeah from all over the country I and mean, in California, the Delucias came all the way from Daytona Beach, Florida. I mean, it's definitely worth the drive. Um, you know, we got great vendors here selling stuff on site. Yeah, we saw that. You've yep. got uh, Hobby King here as well, right? Yep, Hobby King, Extreme Flight, AJ Aircraft, and um, yeah, that's it. Yeah. We, um, Futaba was supposed to be here. They had a little um, mishap that they couldn't show up and High Tech was supposed to be here, but um, you know they're coming all the way from California, so things didn't quite line up. You know, as you know, they were here last year because you were here. Uh, yeah, but Scott, look, you've got people coming from all over the country to your flying field. An awesome flying field, by the way, one of the nicest we've ever seen. And uh, you guys are just doing it right, so we thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's uh, it's all about just everybody being together. Yeah, you know that's what I like. I like everybody coming together. I like all the vendors coming together. No, uh, no one's singled out. It's not one person's event over another person's event. It's just everybody's welcome. There's jets here, 3D planes here, foamies here. We were flying foamies out back. I mean, it's been a, a banner year this year. So. Well, Scott, we do appreciate it, man. And uh, if you guys don't know, we're at Great Lakes right now for GL8 2024. Yep. And uh, Scott here, you, to tell us, uh, who are, you were a factory pilot at one point, were you not? Yeah, I still am. I obviously uh, fly for AJ Aircraft, yeah. High Tech, and GP Engine. Yeah, so, oh, really? Yeah. Man. Same with my son, obviously, but... Um, Your son has gotten incredible. Yeah, all my effort goes to him. Now, I was going to so. say, is he competing with you now? Or it's not a, oh, not a competition yeah. anymore. It's just like promote him, right? Yep. Awesome. Just help him out. I'm just his engine starter. That's right. <laughs> That's how I am with Nick. Scott, thank you very much. We appreciate it. No problem. All right, thank you, take man. care, buddy. Take care. They are actually holding on a Coracle tournament, which is actually basically over. I think we're doing the last rounds. Uh, me and Ryan sucked. We lost both rounds. Both rounds. Uh, the second one was close, 16-21, so we didn't do too bad that one. We were the first people out the first time. Oh, yeah, we, we Very sucked. <laughs> we suck, suck. Um, we, we got skunked. We actually went 21 0. We didn't even get a point. But, still a good 
I also, I don't think we got it on video because we were kind of rushed to do it because of the tournament. Um, I was actually able to do the first ever gas night flight at this field. Ever. 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 At any GLA, no one has ever been able to do night flying because it's always been kind of off limits to do night flying at this field. And we got to do the very first one. So that was pretty cool. I wish I don't. I don't. We'll see later if Dad got it on video. I was flying. I was like, ah, I gotta just get this done because if I don't do it now, I will never do it. So we will see you guys in the morning. And I, we got the raffle, raffle time. Raffle tomorrow. And we are leaving after the raffle. Yeah, we're leaving after the raffle. So hopefully, I am leaving with a new turnkey airplane. That would be awesome. So we'll see you tomorrow. And uh, good night. Thank you, everyone. Hey, I'm going to make this easy. We got a couple. Everybody listen up. The last couple of things. Pilot, 73 inch laser. Everybody listening. Number 264 883. 264 883. That is for the Pilot, 73 inch laser. Mick, what did you win? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, maybe it's better, better over here. Brian, where'd you win? <laughs> yeah, not doing great yet. Oh, well, that's all right. We, got, we did good last year. I threw we? away my tickets. Yeah, last year, yeah. yeah. AJ Aircraft, 105-inch laser. Uh, stacked out. I can't remember. Stacked out the uh, Akata 7,000 degrees. Interest. That is, that is a really nice airplane. Um, all AJ aircraft hardware. <laughs> Killing um, All AJ aircraft hardware. Uh, custom made extensions. Donnie did this one from uh, from Fogler C. Uh, Fatava DL DLHP power distribution. DLPH, excuse me, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Ellie did some good ones. Come on, Ellie. I'm not going to read the name already. Right, there's a name on it, but we're going to read the number anyway just for suspense. All right. Winning number 593. 493 Don't tell me about your stuff. You got it? Oh, we gotta have the actual ticket. Okay, so we're gonna hit the look. There's a really cool story here, so hang on. Real life, Good for him. Alright, so I actually oh, said this young man when I got here not to land But that happened on Sunday. I was actually with Andrew Chesky, Tim and Linda Chesky. Tells me his lifelong dream was to meet Andrew Chesky. He got to meet Andrew Chesky on Sunday. What else? Did he do something for you? Did he sign your airplane? He signed my... Uh... AJ Aircraft 61 slid off the canopy. Each side of the same one. Nice. And then what else? Nice. And then, uh. Breathe, dude, breathe. I get tired of nervous. I thought I'd eat a little bit So, didn't you just have an airplane accident? So, earlier this morning, I was coming in to do a Harrier on the runway, and I lost elevator control and it provided everyone. There's probably still pieces on the wrong way if you want to go look. He's going to fit right in in this hobby. That's no idea what we have to do. Oh, all right guys well that is it for gl uh just like last year gl7 was awesome this year was awesome a little bit slower than last year we think 
Uh, but it was actually kind of nice. A lot of yeah, chances to fly. To fly. Yeah, you flew your jet quite a few. Yeah, four, four or five times. Yeah. So we were, we, all of us were able to get some awesome flights in, uh, just enough to have it enjoyed it. Um, and everyone here has been absolutely a blast. So we're always, we're all packed up, ready to go. Um, unfortunately, we didn't win anything. <laughs> so, but like a, a young fun. kid that just crashed his plane. That was plane. awesome. The kid just crashed his plane today. And he won the turnkey airplane. What? I mean, I, I'm. He I'm, deserved I'd it. I'd be hoping for that too. He so, deserved it. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, a lot of people are still uh, sticking around, flying. But a lot of people packing up right here after the raffle. Now we got an 11-hour drive, Jess. Yep. Are you ready for 11 is. hours? Yeah. Four o'clock. All right. It's gonna be a hell of a night. Yes, it is. <laughs> Let's go do it. Thank so, you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for watching and enjoying our little uh, GL8 trip. Uh, definitely gonna hopefully. Don't look forget forward. to like and subscribe. Oh yeah, I gotta say that thing. Um, Sorry. But GL9 is going to be awesome. Share the video. It helps the algorithm. <laughs> awesome. See you guys. Nick, we got a video of this, man. Nick, what are we doing? Paying like $100 to fill up tires. For air. Yeah, it's absolute crap. Look at this. This little air thing, $2.50 for five minutes, and it lets out more air than it puts in. Nice job, Revolution Air. We've been here for what, probably uh We've been here 20 minutes. 20 minutes to fill tires. 20 minutes to fill tires. And we're at six, and it gets, it goes down. It's literally going down. That's why I'm laying here right now. Brian's going to fly my god hey viewers call this number 920-432 and now it gives an error hey rye yeah. let it go for a sec and then put it back on if it goes down to 50s i'm gonna be bad i'm telling you this i don't get it what's that 58 now <laughs> <laughs> it's so not funny. <laughs> oh my god. 59. And all Way to go, Revolution Air. We wouldn't be as annoyed if we didn't have to fucking pay for it. This is a scam. Because we have to pay for it. I know. Hey. That's why Wawa rocks. Y'all know what I'm saying. Wawa and Sheets. You rock. You're awesome. And guess what? Their system actually works. When you got to pay for it, $2.50 for five minutes, it goes up and down by one PSI. Tell me that's not a scam. 100%. That's so, so screwed up. That is absolutely a scam. And if we didn't have to drive nine hours, I wouldn't be in trying you, Revolutionaire. My God. That's just good really. Enough. Release it, put it back on, done. put it back on. It's not, up it's not done. Oh my God. This is what it's like to fill up a trailer tire at a scam station. You make it songs now? Scam station. Good scam station. Scam station. You gotta pay for air. Flying J. Scam station. <laughs> oh my goodness, Grace. So let's go see if it's down to 52. Oh! Oh, we went up to 63, people. 63! 65! Whoa! You losing 65. it over here? We're at 65! We're all going mad. I'm holding it right. We're at 65! Ryan, I hold it better than you do. Ryan, he holds it better than you do. I don't think so. I don't know. That's what he's saying. That's what Nick is saying. I guess you do have a couple more years on holding it. 